Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I'm here today with my Sephora sale haul plus um, a try on. I'm gonna do a quick little try on of some of the products I ordered. You know, they had me stressed, right? Because I was stressing me out even more. I saw more than one person on TikTok said their order, they were waiting for shipping notification, the order was canceled and Sephora never gave them any heads up. Anywho, um, I got my sh shipping notification late at night and the next morning said out for delivery. So I'm thinking it probably was already shipped and they forgot to send me. So they sent me the shipping no notification last minute because there's no way I got the shipping notification that night and it arrived um, the next day. Anywho, so let's quickly, I didn't do too much. Let's um, go through what I got and then um, I want to do a try on, like I said. All right. So yes, I got the Prada Foundation. And I want to try it out. Somebody had said to me, you're not going to rest or you're going to be tormented sometime until you get it. So I got it. Um, of course, I re-up to my Charlotte, Charlotte Tilbury spray. Like most times there's a sale, I re-up on her spray. I got the Danessa Myricks, her, the Yummy Skin, the Moisture Repair Serum. You know, I as soon as I saw this, I wanted it. So I picked that up. I got the blush from House Labs, the Fire Moon blush, but why does it look so small? I haven't opened anything. Why does it look so small? I don't know. Um, then I got this highlighter from Fenty. Um, I, I saw a lot of people talking about it. It's not, they said it's not blinding. It's like, um, like an inner glow. And I'm sort of loving those type of highlighters now. So I picked this up. I'm definitely going to try it out today. And I had no plan on doing this, but I picked up a NARS, blu a NARS blush. You know, they came up with new blushes. I picked it up. I needed another blush, like a hole in my head. I did not need <laughs> another blush at all. Um, I picked up... Because these are going, um, they're, they're being discontinued. It's a four micro finish powder. I picked it up in a darker shade so I can use it as a contour powder. But now I'm looking at it. This is in Sienna. It doesn't look that dark for a contour, but we'll see. Maybe I can use it as regular powder. It was only, um, it was only $10. Um, I picked up the Huda Beauty, her color corrector. I finally got it. It restocked in Papaya, or I don't know what happened, but... I went, um, I was trying to fill my basket and I clicked on it and it was available. And then I went back, I saw it was gone. And then I was like, maybe I'm not going to get it, but I got it. The corrector, I'm going to use this today as well. Of course, I picked up the Makeup Forever bronzer. I really wanted to test this out. I pick it up. I'm going <laughs> to, I'm going to try to use it today as well. I'm excited for this bronzer. I don't know why. Then I picked up another Fenty concealer because I love it so much, but I picked up a lighter shade. I picked it up in 400N because I have it in 410W because I always wanted a, a lighter version of it. I think I had mentioned that before, so I picked it up. <laughs> then, like I said, I picked up the Patrick Star, his lip liner. This is in Rinse Dew, and I got his... Um, I re-upped on his liquid liner. Now, two things are missing. I ordered um, from Ami Colet. Um, so they did two separate shippings. I hate that. So I didn't get, um, those, but yeah, that's it. All right. So let's jump into a try on of these. All right. Bombs. Let's start off with the bomb from Danessa Myricks. I'm so excited for this. Oh, it comes with the same little spatula. This looked so delicious online. Mm. and delicious in person well she said it was unscented there's no scent all right i'm just gonna take a lid i mean my skin love anything that's oily because it sucks it up but i'm gonna start out with this this may be a long video because i'm literally testing these things i'm gonna i guess rub it in my hand oh mm. oh she was on iron oh Oh, this is a this is a this is a dry girl's dream. I'm wearing I'm wearing sunscreen. Oh, I'm putting some on in my eye too. I'm wearing sunscreen, so I hope it plays well. You can see the sunscreen popped up, right? When I put it on like the 
little cast, but that's okay. I love how, you see my face? It looks wet. I love that. I love it. All right, so let's correct with papaya. I've heard so many good things. Let me make, let me make sure it's papaya. <laughs> oh, it's papaya because I don't know how that happened. It was available, and then when I went back, it wasn't, and they shipped it to me. So, so oh, looks bright. All right, let's see. So I usually do under my eyes and my lap line. I'm doing two dots because this looks... Two dots. Well, this looks like a lot. It's a good thing everybody told me not to get the other shade and to be and to wait for this shade because this looks like it's super pigmented and orange. To me, this is deeper than a papaya. Okay, that looks nice. It's doing the job. So a little of this goes a long way because look at it blended out. Oh my God. <laughs> I was here blending and blending and blending. Wow, this is deep. Next time, maybe not two dots, maybe one dot. It's going to be covered up with, with the foundation. All right. So for the star of the show, the Prada Foundation. So I got it in, what shade did I get it in? I got it in DW85. All right, so it's the Reveal Skin Optimizing Refillable Soft Matte Foundation. Um, DW85 is described as, as deep skin with warm undertones. So let's see. I know the bottle. This is warm. Oh, here we go again. Does this look warm? This looks like the neutral brownish tone that it's, that I guess is following me because this does not look golden. Oh, great. What was that? I guess that's how you take it out. I don't feel like doing all that right now. I'm, I'm already like, what the hell? Why? Really? Okay, it's a try on. First time. Let's see. Okay, well, at least it's not light. I did the stupid swatch again. Okay. All right. In the bottle, it looked like really brown and neutral. I could see the warmth. It's just a little darker than I thought it would be, but I don't mind it. Smells delicious. Smells smells really nice. Okay. I'm going to use my elf sponge. Okay, it's darker than I thought. But uh, darker is better than lighter. I'll take darker any day. It's better than definitely better than being light. Oh, this Huda corrector is dark. I mean, Really orange. I guess because I'm so used to my NARS corrector. This seemed to be like a lot. Okay. Next time, I'm going to do one dot. It's really pigmented. I should have known though, because Huda, her concealers don't play. I think it probably has the same formula. All right. This is definitely darker. So it's a golden brown. I, I can see the warmth in it, but it's it still has a lot of brown. But like I said, I don't mind it. Oh, the finish is beautiful. And then with this balm, let me tell you, I'm obsessed with this balm already. My skin feels super juicy. So I'm going to go ahead and use the 410 and the 4, 400 neutral. So this is the 4, 410W. No dark circles should peep through after this with this with this color with this color corrector. Lord, whew, that's a hell of a color. I probably could have even go a shade down with this color corrector. It's really really deep. I have to use a light hand next time. 
and I don't like to mix my concealers. I want, I'm going to blend this out first and then I'm going to go over top with 400 and so far I like this foundation. Gucci spray. All right, let's go. I let it, it sat for like, a, you know what? Let me, it's rain. Let me close my window because these birds have been gossiping outside my window since this morning. All right. Let's see how everything looks. Oh, very nice, very nice. I may not even need... I'm, I'm just going to put the 400 in under my eye. I'm not going to put it on the rest of my face because it's not looking bad. I thought it was so dark I would have had to use a lot of the for the lighter concealer. But definitely not. And I love how the balm is playing with everything. Like nothing is getting rolled up. Because you know sometimes when your products don't... Um, First impression, when your products don't, I find I jump all over the place. Like when I look back at my, when I edit my videos, I'm like, I have to say something and then move on. I jump a lot. <laughs> um, Cause you know, sometimes when you, especially when you've never used it before and it doesn't have a good reaction with your um, base products, it can kind of get roly poly. It's definitely not doing that. Mm beautiful oh if you have it let me know if you guys like it because initial impression right now girl mm, i love this and this balm oh my god if you have dry skin the sale ends on the 15th i would you know i would encourage you guys to um let me stop i'm not encouraging you guys to get anything all right, so to cream contour, I'm thinking I'm going to use the Make It Forever palette. I have a whole review on this palette. You can check it out. Um, this is palette two. This is the the newest one for tan to deep skin. I, I don't know. I'm going to use the, if I can get it open, I'm going to use the contour in here, the lighter con um, bronze and shade. I do like it. You know, I couldn't get that open. So annoying. <sighs> I'm going to use this um, contour shade. Since um, since I reviewed it, I haven't picked it up again. Because I decided I'm going to keep it. Because um, I'm just going to use a light hand with um, with most of the shades. Especially like the, um, the concealer shades. I think I put too much. And I'm not going to do the whole all over my face. But the textures of these is beautiful. Um, if you haven't seen it, it's currently up on my channel. Just want to give a little. See, and that one has like a nice bronze to it. The really deep contour shade. If you watch my video, you'll see. I'm not a. I'm not a fan, but I do like this. This foundation and this balm together, mm, I could already see that I'm going to be buying, I'm going to be repurchasing this balm. As a person with really dry skin and who has been trying to do everything to make sure my skin doesn't look dry and cakey, girl, mm, I'm so happy with this foundation and this balm. <laughs> You know when you find something, you know, you buy stuff and you get it and you're very happy? Because look at my skin. Oh, I forgot the... Let's let's just put a little bit of 400 in just because I want to use it. <laughs> I don't think I need it, but I'm going to put a little bit under my eye because I want to see how it looks. Because, of course, I didn't get to, like, swatch it or anything. These nails are cute, but mm -mm, they be slowing me down. All right, so this is 400 N. All right, it's lighter. I'm gonna put a little bit like right there. I just wanna, I just wanna use it. Okay. I, cho I chose neutral because 
That one has a nice golden um, yellow undertone. So I figured these two together would look like really nice. And I think I was right. So I'm just going to put it here and blend it out. This concealer is beautiful, guys. If you haven't tried it yet, I think you should. All right, guys, look at my skin. Mm. I feel like 16 again. My skin looks so nice and supple. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead with under eye powder. What I like about this Fenty, Fenty concealer, it doesn't really crease. For a concealer that's a little dewy, it doesn't really crease. So today I'm going to do like... Uh, what was I going to say? I'm going to... Oh, my brush is right here. I'm going to do like the... Op not the opposite. I'm going to use... Um, my Charlotte Tilbury powder to set, and then I'm gonna bake with my, um, whatchamacallit, my Maybelline Fit Me. First impression, I love this foundation. I really do, I really like it. Just set down with my Charlotte Tilbury powder. This is still one of the best powders on the market. So, all right, and then I'm just going to bake with the Maybelline Fit Me. Oh, sorry, somebody rang my bell with my neighbor. All right, so I'm going in with Fit Me in shade 30. Well, I don't know if he can park in my driveway to unload stuff. I love this powder. And it is drugstore. Can't go wrong. All right, so while that sits, I'm going to set my entire face, right? So I'm just loving how my skin is looking. So I'm thinking the only, the only powder I can think of using is my Always an Optimist powder from Rare Beauty. Skin is skinning, as the kids would say. Lovely. I forgot a foundation. Okay. I don't regret it. I don't regret it. I'm happy. Color scared me a little bit there, but you know. Concealer pulled it together. And this powder is very light. You're not going to get a lot of coverage if you're looking for that. And that's why I love it so much. Ooh, my skin. <laughs> I keep saying that, but oh my God. I'm so happy with it. All right, guys. So another product I was really looking forward to is the Makeup Forever Bronzer. I got it in the Deeper Shade Sweet Espresso. I hope I like it. All right, let's see. I love, I love this. Next time I do a haul, I'm going to do a try on. It's fun. <laughs> Please let it be good. Please let it be good. <laughs> hmm. Looks kind of cool. Reminds me a little bit. The shade is reminding me of the Pat McGrath. Oh, it looks cooler in the... <laughs> it looks cooler in the pan compared to how it looks on my hand. Okay. I love makeup forever, so let's see. Okay, oops. It kind of powdery. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. I mean, I don't drink coffee, but as strong as coffee. Oh, nice. Oh, it's like butter. It's like butter. Butter. Mm. I'm loving everything. I'm in heaven. <laughs> I'm in makeup heaven. See, this is why Sephora is my favorite store because I get all the nice things from Sephora. <laughs> Although they tick me off sometimes. Oh, you know, I love a good bronze forehead. I'm dead. I am dead. Mm. I knew it would be good. I love makeup forever. I mean, 
this is delicious this is so nice I'm so happy I'm so happy with that Prada foundation that balm that I put on my skin that still have my skin skinning mm. <sighs> isn't makeup wonderful it just makes you so happy <laughs> all right for blush now I had to go dig up my the pomela blush that I have because I do not remember it looking this small I should have opened these things but anyway it's all part of the unboxing right this is small you guys didn't tell me this is a little blush because look at this one like what did she do is it the same price? I have to check. Because what the hell? She she took away product. <laughs> I don't have my glasses. I want to check. Yeah, this is big. Because I saw it and I'm like, I saw that little box. I was looking at it. I was like, what could that be? It's the blush. All right. So this is, what is it? Fire Moon. Oh, it's a lot nuder than I thought, but these are the type of blushes I like. I really hope I like it. I hope this doesn't ruin the... I'm going to roll with all the products that I'm trying. I hope this doesn't ruin it. <laughs> okay, let's see Fire Moon, because I wasn't a fan of Pomelo Peach. Okay, it's a lot like... She's so LA, I think it's the name of it. Okay. Oh, this is nice. Mm. Oh, okay, it's nice. I had to build it up there, but it's it's good. I love this shade. It's like a nice woodsy, a woodsy sort of brownish with a slight orange undertone blush. I don't know how it's described, but this is how it's, this is how I see it. Oh, this, this also like gave me like some bronze cheeks. All right. I like it. And another star of the show. I'm thinking, should I, no, I'm not going to set my face first. This Fenty highlighter. This looked so nice. I saw somebody on TikTok use it. TikTok is going to get me in so much trouble. And I picked it up. So I have the shade. What did I get? I got tr Trophies and Truffles. She always has the cutest names, right? This is what it looks like. Ooh. Oh, it's so pretty. So pretty. Look at that. Mm. Let's do a little swatch. So this is supposed to be like a glow from within highlighter. Oh, Lord. Mm. <laughs> the deliciousness continue. Ooh. Oh, I, I, oh, I love this. Look at this. So I'm going to spread this very generously over this blush because... Mm. Oh, my God. Okay, guys, if you, I'm telling you, if you haven't purchased this, purchase it. And this is from me just putting this on for the first time. This is beautiful. Oh, wow. I'm deader. Oh. Oh. I oh, it's so soft and beautiful. and This would look so nice on bare skin as well. Like you spray some setting spray. And you put it on your skin. Like for people who have nice skin. Oh my goodness. Oh. I'm in heaven. You see that? Oh, it's gorgeous. And with this blush. Forget about it. All right. Let's set my, my face. Oh, I'm so happy, guys. Right now with like everything. Wow. Very, very impressed. I love everything so far. Love everything. Like, these products hit it out apart for me. All right. Let's do lips. Let's go in with the lip liner from Patrick Star. I got it in, um, geez, what's the shade of this? 
Okay, no, it's Coin Collector. I hope it's not too red because I noticed, I don't know why brands put so much red um, when they do brown lip liners. Let's see. Oh, nice. This is a proper brown. Doesn't have a lot of red. This is a proper brown. Mm. I'm hitting it out of the park today. Oh, I'm so happy. All right, let's see. Love this already. Oh, it's a nice brown, guys. Isn't that nice? It's a nice brown. All right, so I want to wear like a nude lipstick so that, you know, the like I can see like the full pencil. So I'm going to go in with my MAC Kingster. I love a good brown lip liner. And he did it with this. Not too much red. Isn't this lip liner pretty? It's such a proper brown. I just, oh my God, I love everything that I hold here today. Everything. Look at that. Everything is so beautiful. Love the, you know what? Let me, um, let me swatch. I want to see what this NARS blush look like. I got it in Orgasm Rush. You know, NARS and their Orgasm. They're going to just keep, well, hey, if it didn't broke, don't fix it, right? I was struggling to get the box open. I saw it and it just looked so pretty. Let's see what it looks like. Orgasm Rush. Their packaging is always like hard to open. Okay. Okay, this is what it looks like. A little underwhelmed, but let's see. Oh. Oh, it has a beautiful sheen. It's like a peachy, oh, it's like a peach. This is beautiful. It's like a peachy orange sort of blush. Let's put a little bit on. Why not? We're trying on everything. <laughs> I'll put it like directly on my cheek. Let's see how it looks. Because that looks really nice. Oh, it's pretty... Hmm. I feel like a princess. Oh, that's nice. Hmm. I'm so happy with everything. All right, guys, this is the end of my Sephora haul and try on. I had fun. This was so much fun. I loved doing this. Is one of my favorite videos I think I've done because I've, I've never done getting something and putting it on right away. I love everything. I do. This bomb, I knew it would be good. <laughs> I love the Nessa Myrick. She gets products. I love how she does her products. I love this. My skin feels amazing. And you can see it looks nice and dewy and soft. Wow. Mm. Prada came through. This is fire. This is fire. It's a little dark, but hey, I made it work. And I'm gonna keep making it work with a lighter concealer. I didn't need too much of a lighter concealer. As you guys saw, the Fenty worked out really nice. I love Fire Moon. It's small. If you're looking for something bigger, you're not gonna get it. Love Fire Moon. I think it's beautiful. And get you this Fenty highlighter. It's definitely lit from within. You can wear this with like a tinted moisturizer and just go around your face. It's beautiful. This is really, really good. Love it. Oh, this is my new baby. I knew I would love I knew I would love this bronzer, and I do. I'm glad I got it. I was like, I have so many bronzers, I have so many bronzers. It's really good. This um, where is it? The papaya. Where is it? Eh, well, I have the box. <laughs> it's somewhere. 
the Huda Beauty Papaya, it's wow. That's a hell of a color corrector. I think the next time I have to go a little lighter, but mm, fire. Everything was nice. I'm so happy with everything. And I love this lip liner because this is what you call a proper brown. This is what I like, a proper brown lip liner. I don't like lip liners that have too much red. I think it changes the color of your lipstick, especially when the lipstick is nude. Anyway, guys, and um, hopefully I get my other package, which is just Ami All right, guys. Um, I want to thank you so much for watching this video. I had so much fun, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye, guys.